Welcome back. We are in Tadelmer. And there's some kind of uh, room here. Looks like a control room, maybe. So let's um, see what we've got. There's some kind of device here with dunny numbers on it. with a, uh, a gear next to it and some kind of needle pointing at it. And actually that has no relation to anything whatsoever. I'm sure it has purpose in the context of the age, but it's not important for any puzzles. And I used to think it was, which made me waste a lot of time on trying to figure out what, how it works and what it does. But anyway... There are also some control panels, but it doesn't look like they're active. There's more than one of them. So let's look around a little bit more. Let's see what's behind here. Hmm. Looks like a, an imager or viewer with two controls next to it. We adjust the controls, changes the brightness of the image. Ah, and when we set it to its brightest possible setting, the power comes on. It's probably just tuning. Uh, some kind of solar powered or maybe starlight powered, I don't know, system. Now that the power is on, let's see if those controls do anything now. One thing you can see is that now this needle is moving. It's moving very, very slowly, but I assure you that it is moving. So I guess that this is probably just a dunny clock. Slightly different version than what we've seen uh, before. But it does appear to keep time. Controls are powered now. Let's see what they do. We see a piece of the sky. So maybe this is looking through a telescope or something. And it seems that by using these switches we can set the zoom level. When we use these uh, controls it moves this sphere in the middle and this green button lights up. And when we press the button, the view moves. Let's do that again. Try and move it a little bit more. See that while the view moves, these cables are moving. So apparently, these controls allow us to move the telescopes. Yeah, this one appears to be broken. There's no picture. There's two more on this side, actually. Those are both working. So, the telescopes are controlled via these cables, and I guess that those are the same cables that we saw outside connected to these things. So do those are probably the uh, telescopes. They don't appear to be normal optical telescopes the way that we would build them with lenses. Some other kind of system. I don't know. I don't know Dunning technology.
Well, we know, of course, our goal is to get to the keep so we can unlock another slate, another side of the tablet. Yeah. Hmm. Our path is blocked. First time I saw that, I actually thought that these were plans of some kind, but I think it's actually part of a cable. Used to be connected to a telescope, which would appear to be that telescope. You can see that the cable is uh, hanging down. That actually gives us some guide to the perspective, actually, because we can see that these cables go down about three quarters, maybe. Or no, it just just more than that of the height of that pillar, which is apparently the same distance as from here to over there. So that gives us a better idea of just how big the stuff we're looking at is. But this cable is blocking our path. Well, we've seen that we can move the cables using the controls in the room. We've also seen that one of the controls didn't give an image, so that probably is the control for this uh, broken telescope. So let's see if we can use those controls to move that cable out of the way. Um, let's just move it uh, to the extreme. No, I think you actually need to move it to the middle. See the cable's moving again. Well, hopefully that got rid of that pesky cable over there. Wow, a puzzle in Mist 5 where our path was blocked and the solution was not to draw a symbol on the slate. That's going to be very, very rare in this game. And we can see that it worked. The cable is out of the way. Another telescope over there. And this would seem to take us to the top of the pillar. Or on the roof of the building. Ooh, what's this thing? There's some resemblance to uh, the telescopes. Although it's much smaller, of course. It also bears some resemblance to the um, viewers we saw in Kadesh Tulisa in Uru. And it is indeed a viewer. And with these controls we can adjust the view. We can look at uh, The other pillar over there. Interesting. It seems that the pillar is connected to this one using a cable. Not sure how visible that will be in the video, but you can see there's a cable that runs between the two pillars. There's also some symbols over there. Let's look at those. As close as ah, uh, as close as I can get. It's a circle with the top right section missing, and two Dunny numbers. 
This would appear to be 24. No, wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> it's, sorry, this is 24. This is uh, 13. So 13 and 24. This symbol reminds me of something. Other than Pac-Man. There's actually a glitch in the game where if you draw this symbol on the, the slate, it will take you directly to the keep. You can skip the rest of the edge. I have never tried that myself, but I've read that that's possible. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play fair. So let's just remember this symbol and remember the numbers. 13, 24. And I'll continue in the next video.